Hey everyone, so in today's video we are going to learn about how we can enumerate or find subdomains by the brute force method using AMS. But before going to this video, as always, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I've shown you that how we can find endpoints and parameters associated with that endpoints using XN link finder, then go ahead and check it out. The link will be given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. Also, for those who are new to our channel and haven't checked out our website, which is bpractical.tech yet, then you are missing a lot. Just go and type bpractical.tech in your browser and you will, you will be redirected to our awesome websites over here. As you can see, we have lots of contents related to cybersecurity like the one you can see over here. It's released just today. The art of brute forcing subdomains, exploring the dangers of NoSQL injection, WordPress username disclosures and uh, web development contents as well. We have so many things. And the interesting thing is that we are also providing labs and these labs are based on logical vulnerabilities that can be used to perform a count takeover. So let me just show you all these labs so all of these labs are based on real world scenarios and you'll learn a lot from solving these labs right so like these ones labs are based on uh, api hacking for example these are on logical ones right just go and practice and improve your cyber security skills now with that being said let's get started now once we have our kali linux machine up and running we can start using the aim has to enumerate subdomains to the brute forcing method so the first thing that we need to do is obviously we need to install AMS in our machine so for those who are new to AMS, then just type sudo apt ams uh, install ams minus y and this will install ams into your kali linux machine once you have installed that the second thing that you need to do is you need to find a word list that has the most common and the most used uh, uh, words that are present in subdomains right so that the chances of getting more subdomains will increase so the best subdomains uh, br uh, word list out there is the one that have uh, hosted on ha uh, asset note so let me just show you so just go and type asset note and so wait a few seconds here it is just go and click on this word list just wait for a few seconds and over here as you can see we have a lot of uh, word list like this one have automatically generated word list uh, we have kite runner word list which is very good when you are hacking on apis we have technology specific manually generated now this is the uh, word list that we're going to look for and this one is so far the best DNS word list out there, right? So it's contained 139 MB of size and is these many uh, wor words are present in over here, right? Now to download this, simply we can just copy this link over here. Just copy it and in your Kali Linux machine, just type wget and just paste it. And this will download this particular uh, word list into your machine. So as you can see, it started downloading. Just wait for a few seconds and it will start downloading it and i'm not going to actually download it just for uh, your understanding i'm going to show you that how we can use this tool but it is uh, a must that you should download this uh, dns word list so that your chances of getting more uh, subdomains will definitely get increased right now once we have this particular word list installed what you want to do is we just clear my screen a bit and now finally let's use this tool right so to use this tool you can just type ms and in my previous videos, you have seen that how we can get more functionalities of uh, uh, AMS, right? Like how finding root domains and other things, right? So now let us see that how we can do the enumeration part, right? So we all know that to uh, to find subdomain, what we simply do is we type AMS enum minus T. Here we'll provide the domain name. Uh, let's say uh, google.com for an example. And then we're going to type minus O for the output. And then we're going to pass any output let's say uh, test.txt and minus v if you want to display a verbose output of this particular command or you can just get rid of this and it will work fine right now to uh, brute force to uh, to uh, make aim as brute force more subdomains right to allow subdomain feature third subdomain brute force feature what we need to do is we need to pass minus brute flag into the ams enum right so right after ams enum you're going to specify minus brute and then the rest things remain same right now we are going to brute force the subdomain so we also need to pass the word list that that's why we have downloaded the word list right so to pass the word list simply you need to type minus w and this is going to pass the word list uh, to ams right 
now for example we are going to use the set list uh word list so i'm just going to give my directory set list and over here we have to go to dns discovery i guess dns and it contains a lot of uh, subdomains as well as you can see over here so uh, to install setlist you can just type sudo apt install setlist minus y in kali linux or otherwise you need to just go to uh, the browser just go and type setlist setlist github and just click on the very first link that you'll see and over here you have all the common word lists right just copy this and just git clone it into your local machine type by typing git load and this particular link right now over here let's say we are going to choose this one dns json hadix so i'm again an amazing hacker json hadix now just paste it and after that we are good to go if you just hit enter then it is going to start the enumeration process so the first thing that is going to do is going to look for uh subdomains of google.com through the passive sources like wayback machine etc once that process get completed then it is going to look for uh what you have provided in the world list and it's going to start brute forcing them to find whether there is an uh, available or working subdomains associated with that word or not right so if i just hit enter now as you can see let me just hit enter now the ams has been started right so this is how basically you can uh, brute force uh, subdomains using ams right and word list is very important over here right so it, it again it all depends on the target that you are uh, uh, you know the target in which you are hunting basically right and uh, again make sure to download this particular uh, best dns word list file right that will definitely help you a lot and don't worry this link will be given in the description as well as the checklist link will also be given in the description right so this is how you can basically do that if you want to run this command in the background you can also do one small thing so let me just control c it just copy this and the first thing that you need to install is tmux so sudo apt install tmux minus y and once you have tmux install just go and type tmux and over here uh, type any command that you want for example i want to brute force just hit enter and now this command will run in the background so just in your uh, on your keyboard just type control plus p and then hit d now you are detached from the session right you can do other uh, stuff like maybe directory brute forcing and so many things right by the way if you don't know how to brute force directory uh, or find hidden contents then go ahead and check out this video of mine you'll learn a lot of things of directory brute forcing right now if you have any doubts if you have any issues then feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section also do join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going on cyber security right and if you like the way i teach then i am currently running two courses the first one is a uh, bug bounty the ultimate guide to hunt account takeovers wherein you will learn that how we can dive deep into the application to find those vulnerabilities that will result in account takeovers and the second course which i am running is hacking windows with python from scratch wherein you will learn that how hackers create their actual payload that can hack any windows machine how they can bypass antivirus how they can execute system commands upload and download files and so many things i have hosted these courses on udemy so you can just go ahead and check it out the link is given in the description right now with that being said keep learning and thanks for watching